I'm Emily Aaron. And I'm Jeffrey Aaron. We're here at the Air Cargo Farm talking to people about what's new. And what's next. In Air Cargo 2012, as Tiaka meets in Atlanta. I'm here with Eric Hartman of Aero Mexico Cargo. Hi, Ms. Hartman, how are you? Good, Good thank you. Um, so let's get to it. What, what are you telling people about today? Well, here at, at uh, Tiaka 2012, we're telling people about China uh, Airlines joining our alliance. Yeah. Now we have you know, a very strong position in China and uh, we'll continue to grow in the coming years. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have been talking about um, the poor economy and just the challenges that are, that are facing. What sort of challenges are you guys facing and what sort of efforts are you making to, to uh, address these challenges? Well, I think we're all facing a lot of challenges. Yeah. Uh, all car carriers are a lot of pressure. Yeah. So unfortunately, we're a combination carrier, and uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to spend more efficiently. Yeah. Not cut costs, but spend more efficiently. Yeah. Uh, Mexico is a great market. Yeah, let's talk about a little bit about Aeromexico. What's new at Aeromexico? Well, at Aeromexico, we're growing. Yeah. We recently announced the purchase of 100 aircraft, seven, excuse me, 10 770s, yeah. and 977. Next generation, and uh, we expect the Mexican market is to be strong. A lot of manufacturing is leaving China and to back to Mexico. So for us, it's a really good position. So what's the outlook for the next few years? Positive? What do you guys look forward to? Uh, we hope that it's going to be positive. I think the size of the airline that we are, yeah. uh, pertaining to a uh, global alliance such as CIT, I think we're going to have a positive outlook. Thank you so much, Mr. Hartman. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and keep them flying.